exactly 20 seconds a slide. All the talk of it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, um, I work for a company called Info Projects. We're, we're basically about. Um, get to the second slide. I should move. Um, basically, I wanted to start out with you know being. You know, it's all about documents. It's all about digital data. Um, it's also about effective exchange of information. It's about collaboration. So as we improve decision making, uh, it's process orientated, and obviously we want to get as much automation into that as we can. Now, stepping back, you know where we are at the moment. Yes, we have IFCs. We have certain data formats that we can extract. Um, or certain file formats that we can ex extract data from. But there's a whole range of file formats out there that we use. I've actually added in the FM target stage with the other standard stages there. Um, the point that I wanted to make is that within all of these file formats, we have a lot of duplication of information. And this can lead to inconsistencies in the information. And ideally, we want to have one version of the, the truth. Uh, I call it a workspace. Uh, that's a better arrangement. So basically what would be great would be to have a central repository of information, the idea that the government has put across a central data store that enables all the parties within the process uh, to assist in decision making or make decisions. So we, we have a, a central data store and obviously different disciplines uh, generate their own models uh, but we need to put this information into a shared workspace. I've shown the shared workspace here managed by the clients. It could equally well be managed by the contractors. Uh, the info and of course, there's a whole range of devices that we could plug into that. The important thing is that our data is normalized, it's validated, and we don't have duplications. That within that space, uh, there is a clear, that is the definitive information to use for the project. We've done clash detection we can be sure that that data is good data. Once we've got that data, we can do a whole lot of things with it. Uh, this is a simple analysis. I've chosen a toilet. Uh, and you know, this, you know, we can analyze the purchase costs, the life cycle costs, the flush rates. You know, we can drill down, we can do an analysis on all of the products that we have from that data. And what we've developed at Info Projects is a simple database that takes this information. We're getting the Kobe drops. The question is what to do with those Kobe drops to make them usable for people who don't have the full-blown BIM tools. The clients might not have a copy of Revit or Archicad, yet they still want to be able to interrogate the data. So this is the system that we've developed. Uh, it's a life cycle system. We collect site information. I mean, site information could be in the form of a lease. That's not an IFC piece of information, but it's pertinent. You might want old planning applications. Uh, so there's a whole lot of documents that really need bringing together uh, that people can work with. The interface is designed to assist people working through the process. Uh, this particular screen of development appraisal is specifically to do with housing, uh, the HCA um, funding requirements. And collecting that information is useful not just to the design team, but everybody across the design team. We can also extract the information from the models and do uh, comparators, how accurately this is from various, for example, but the, we can extract from the model, graph the comparators so we can see how accurate our room areas, our circulation, our external areas relate to the requirements of the brief. We can also do um, associativity, check that uh, we're getting our associations right within our model, we can extract the data. So we don't always have to have a, a, a graphical representation. It can be in the form of a database or a spreadsheet. There are other forms of representation that are helpful. Um, and as I say, the system that we've developed is a life cycle system, so the data is accumulated and can be used uh, across through into FM. We also have lots of information on products and we can compare products because we're getting uh, values and figures. Once we have that sort of information, we can compare that. We can take the simple models, analyze those directly, do re design reviews, um, and also do a workflow system from that. And this is across all the different stages of the product, uh, project. 
Um, and uh, yeah, this I, I just showed conceptual design. This is uh, technical design. And we, here we show a simple housing estate. We can look at it at the estate level. We can also drill into the individual uh, houses themselves. So we can analyze, we can say how much material is, is needed for the individual elements. Um, I talked about how this extracts into FM. This is taking the deliverables that you're required to give in the architectural or the design process, making it automatically accessible for FM tasks. Here we've linked in the room schedules uh, with uh, fault uh, uh, and maintenance schedules. And we can also put all the figures that we have in there already and feedback into other uh, costing graphs, comparisons. Obviously, this is the great thing. Once you have that data, you can start benchmarking um, against other facilities or how well your facilities are doing. So, after my six minutes, my conclusion, structured information, we can achieve savings by using this information. Uh, we need a collaborative workspace uh, that everybody can plug into and use and have the same version of the truth. Uh, obviously, building in uh, values and targets is also great, and I'll be bitten by the 22nd down. And I hope that was informative and helpful. I would welcome any questions.